Hello friends. The objective of making this video is to design an airfoil with the help of Python using spline function. In Python, import math enables mathematical functions, we have to import or activate this module using import math. Python append function enables us to add an element or an array to the end of another array. Let's take one quick example to understand the append function. We will introduce the three elements to the software array. First FreeCAD Second Blender Third Par of You Now we will add the fourth element, named space claim, using append function. Let's print the updated software array. Press enter. You can see that fourth element is included in the list of software array. Now we will use the same concept to make an array of the airfoil points. Let's activate part design workbench with command. You can see the part design workbench, here in the workbench selector. Now, we will add new document, named NACA underscore airfoil, using command. You can see here, new document is added. Add sketch plane to define points. In this stage, we will now write the command lines to create the spline. Airfoil X coordinate will be started from 0 to 1. Let's define base array with a coordinate of 0 0. Kindly request to watch part 1 for better understanding on design points. We will introduce now while loop for x-axis offset. We will use temp, array for appending points to the base array. Here, y coordinate of design point is the function of x. t value for the NACA0015 airfoil will be 0.15. Let's complete the command line, with all airfoil function coefficients. You can introduce any function similar to this way.
Now append this temp array point coordinate to the base array with the use of append function. Define the x offset for the next point. We have introduced the array for all required point to generate the airfoil shape. Now, we will define the spline function to connect all points with the use of B spline. Get the document. Get the sketch. Add geometry with the use of spline function. We need to introduce array in this B spline curve definition. Input the same spline properties. Press enter. Recompute the document. Press enter. You can see the airfoil shape in the graphics window. Now let create the bottom part of the airfoil by changing the Y coordinate with minus sign. To get this copy the command lines. You can use notepad to make changes in the code. Assign minus sign. Copy all command lines and paste into the Python console. You can see the bottom part of the airfoil. Close the sketch and extrude the sketch with pad tool. With this, you can generate the 3D model of the airfoil for your CFD simulation. You can change the X offset to refine the geometry. Follow the same process as we discussed earlier to obtain the airfoil 3D model. Bottom part of the airfoil. top part of the airfoil. Thank you so much for your support. Please do not forget to subscribe this channel to learn more. Next video will be on, how to model an Archimedean spiral.